Welcome back to Vladlix. Today we're going to make simple, fresh cocktails with the most popular herbs. But before we start, quick reminder that in each episode I do cool giveaways and today we have this customized by me mini bar set that you can use to mix any cocktails at home. So if you want to be part of this giveaway, all you need to do is just be subscribed to my channel, leave any comment below and we will choose one random winner next week. Let's go! First will be the king of herbs, basil. It has intense unique flavor, used in all kitchens worldwide, there are many varieties of basil, but the most commonly used is sweet basil. And that's exactly what we'll be using in the most popular cocktail with it, gin basil smash. We're going to shake this cocktail. In a mixing glass or cheeto shaker, put about 6 to 10 basil leaves. I personally like stronger, refreshing flavor and we'll put around 8 large ones. In the original recipe, basil is being lightly muddled with stems, which are important for the color, but I prefer to give it an extra shake instead so the color won't be too dark green. Add 2 ounces of dry gin. If you're making it for the first time, I wouldn't recommend to use any flavor gin, but if you made them before, cucumber flavor gin would be a great option. Next, I'm going to add only half an ounce of the simple syrup. Always use fresh ingredients, so next I will squeeze 1 ounce of lemon juice. I'm going to squeeze also oils at the end, so I prefer to cut a couple of lemon peels now, that way I don't have to use extra one just for the garnish. You can use a peeler if you have one or just a regular knife. Now pour 1 ounce of lemon juice inside, fill up glass or shaker all the way to the top with cubed ice and I will shake it pretty hard for at least 10-15 seconds. Almost finished, well I keep my rocks glass in the freezer but in case if you don't, make sure to chill it for a few seconds with ice. Now strain it using regular and fine strainer so none of the pieces of leaves will get into the drink. I'm going to add a large cube of ice but it's totally okay to use small cubes or even crushed ice if you prefer. For the garnish choose the prettiest large basil leaf put it on the side between ice and the glass. Using lemon zest that we made earlier, squeeze oils and put another one on top of the ice or you can pin it. After you get a taste of this incredible creation, start experimenting with adding extra flavors such as blueberry, raspberry, cucumber or maybe even passion fruit. Actually, speaking of, let's make our second cocktail using sage herb. Separate from stem about 8 small leaves and put them in a shaker. As always I'm using mixing glass so you guys can see all the ingredients I put in. Using a small muddler, all like I'm doing here, press leaves few times with a bar spoon. Just do not muddle them too hard or it will release too much oils and sage will be dominant so you won't be able to taste any other ingredients in the cocktail. Next, let's go with 1.5 ounces of bourbon, 3 quarters of an ounce of passion fruit syrup. It's kind challenging to make it at home so get yours at the store. Squeeze half an ounce of fresh lime juice, fill up shaker with ice and let's shake it vigorously for 15 seconds or so since we have heavy syrup and herbs. I will use tall glass and fill up with crushed ice all the way to the top. Using both strainers again, pour everything inside. Now add about 1 ounce of soda water on top and gently stir it with a long bar spoon. Let's garnish it with passion fruit and few sage leaves. But if you're watching this from states, skip the fresh passion fruit since only garnish will cost you more than this entire cocktail. Our second cocktail is ready, please give me a like if you never made a cocktail with sage before and going to start experimenting after watching this video. And now it's time for time. One of the most popular herbs on the planet with warm bitter taste comes with many French and Italian dishes, but we are going to make easy, pretty unique and tasty cocktail with it. Let's pick a few fresh thyme sprigs and put them in a mixing glass. We need about 50 grams of fresh apple, so it's less than a half of small one like I'm using here. I'm pretty sure you have maple syrup in your kitchen cupboard, let's add half an ounce. Now when they all warm and comfortable there, muddle it until apple pretty much completely crushed. It's already woody and sweet, now let's add 3 quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. I'm gonna use Bacardi 8, but you can use any dark or spiced rum and let's pour 1.5 ounces. Fill up mixing glass with ice all the way to the top and for like 10-15 seconds. Double strain everything into the chilled coop glass. I hope you didn't eat remaining apple that we cut in the beginning. Now just make 3 thin slices, stick them with cocktail pick and let it hang right on the side of the coop glass. This is optional but I have a lot of time left. I will put one sprig right in the middle of apple slices. Yes, maybe or no, let me know what you think. Let's welcome our next guest, rosemary. It's a super popular herb used in many many dishes. It has intense fragrance and truly unique characteristic beauty 
pure tart taste. And we're about to make probably my favorite cocktail from today's list. Let's put them inside two large sprigs. Next, you can use fresh orange juice, but I would recommend to cut few pieces, about 50-60 grams, and we're going to model it to get some essential oils. Let's bring back our mixing glass, cut rosemary sprig in half, then add about 4-5 orange pieces. Vanilla syrup will be our sweetener, so let's add half an ounce. That's already look promising, but after I model it, we need to add even more excitement into this glass. Let's squeeze 3 quarters of an ounce of lime juice, 2 ounces of silver tequila. No need to use any super premium brands, any 100% blue agave tequila will work great in here. One more time filling up shaker full of ice, another 15 seconds arms workout. Now I'm going to double strain everything into the chilled large wine glass and fill up with crushed ice all the way to the top. For the garnish let's use one small pretty rosemary sprig, cut one slice of the fresh orange and just don't bury them all the way inside, try to make them look nice and elegant. And our true celebrity cocktail herb of course is mint. It's so popular that I made two dedicated episodes, cocktails with mint and mojito three ways. You should watch them to learn quite a lot of things about it. Incredibly thankful to all my Patreon supporters, please check out links in the description if you have like to support this channel and also thanks to all of you who commented in the previous video our strainer winner is brendan j kelly never be afraid to make something new and i'll see you in the next video